Hello, in this video I will show you how to use a thing called the Spring Boot CLI, which is a Spring Boot command line tool. And so you can actually use it to create a Spring Boot project right from the command line, more specifically your Git Bash terminal if you are a Windows user, um, particularly Windows user because um, if you're a Windows user, you're going to have to use this SDK man package manager here. And um, you have to use uh, like a Linux type platform, or I should say a Unix type platform, such as Git Bash, in order to download the packages that you need. So you'll have to use your Git Bash. Um, you should go and navigate through the internet to find installation of git bash you should already have it if you're coming up in development and if you have IntelliJ idea it might may or may not or automatically just download uh, git bash for you I, I know I have git bash in my terminal on IntelliJ so you'll go to this site here sdkman.io slash install and when you have your git bash set up and your uh, path variables set up uh, yeah, just run this command here, curl-s. This is going to start um, initializing your, your uh, SDK man. And it's probably going to immediately ask you about, uh, you need to download this zip uh, thing. So you should go ahead and do that. What I have here is I have a notepad file with a lot of directions on how to do all this. So if you jump down here, this is where we're at, SDK man slash install. Um, and from here, this is not very clear here, but check out this video, this YouTube video here. This lady describes getting uh, SDK man installed on YouTube. Um, yeah, you might have to go to this this link here. This link here will is the link to... Uh, 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 a wind tool uh, anyway so you'll download your, your SDK man and then from there you'll run a command called SDK install spring boot so if I jump to this website here spring.io has some documentation on how to how to get your um, spring boot CLI running so yeah, we're right here, SDK install Spring Boot. Okay, so you'll run that command. And it's going to pull in uh, the Spring Boot app. And uh, make sure um, after it goes through the thing where it, where, it run, where it installs the Spring Boot CLI, go to your path variables and make sure uh, SDK, yeah, that's right your SDK is accurately in your path and I kind of misspoke because I, I have the directions here but you're check out this um, website if you have trouble running a command such as uh, SDK install this uh, stack overflow has uh, some stuff uh, the make a long story short this code here you're probably going to have to copy and paste that into your um, a, a file you should have called something like bash dot bash underscore profile I think that's what it's called yeah how to edit your pro so yeah I have this website link here this tells you how to edit your bash profile and um, you're going to have to copy and paste this direct this is I misspoke earlier this is like your path this helps uh, reconcile your SDK man path with your git bash terminal and so go through these directions here and uh, finally once you get your uh, spring boot app installed I have this other website here I'm going up here you'll have all these links but this has some good uh, documentation instructions on 
the Spring Boot CLI. It might be the best thing I've seen out there. Most importantly, when you have your Spring Boot, um, what you'll do is you should run this command here, spring init list. This will tell you a lot of information about the spring um, command tool. Um, so with SDK man, um, you can run a command called uh, SDK and we're gonna show um, we're gonna show the versions of uh, Spring Boot out there. ls spring boot okay and so that command it tells you all the versions of spring boot we have out there it tells you you're installed what you have installed here and you have 2.73 so that's like your default your default spring boot project will be using this level this version of spring boot but yeah, uh, Shift Q gets you out of this. Uh, SDK, or if you do like SDK LS Java, does a similar thing. It tells you all the types of like uh, Java uh, out there, and usually you'll be using this Coretto 18. So SDK. Uh, it's a language it's a language tool for Java um, so anyway I'm inside this directory directory here where we're ultimately gonna build uh, we're gonna build out a spring project so we're gonna create um, a new empty repository so we're gonna do MK dir and we're gonna call it YouTube Spring demo. I feel like that might out there might already be a folder called that. Spring let's call it a uh, CLI demo. Yeah, let's go with that, why not? And so now it just made a made that directory and we're gonna CD into that. Um, I want to CD into, yeah, I want to CD into that. Okay, so now we're on the right folder, and now we're ready to um, initialize uh, the spring, the spring tool. So the command you run is spring. To use your spring boot CLI, uh, you run spring, That's, and we're going to do uh, init. And then from here, I'm just going to show you some information that this program can give us. And that's going to show you a lot of information about the Spring Boot CLI, okay? So we scroll to the top of all this information we get. And here, it tells us uh, about the dependencies that Spring has. And this looks, I have this other thing here, right? If you go to the normal Spring Initializer tool, you know you got dependencies here. And all these dependencies here are exactly the same as what you see here. See, this is showing you all the dependencies and shows you the description. So this is the stuff we're going to add to our project. These kinds of dependencies, a lot of them should look very familiar. Spring Data, Lombok, all that stuff. And you scroll down more. And it tells you, um, yeah, it tells you uh, some defaults. So this is like, this is like your default stuff. If like you didn't really specify information, it's gonna default to this. But this is like the stuff. You see this type, packaging, name, group ID, description, version. That's all. That's all of this stuff, the stuff you would input here on the website. Um, so that's cool. So remember, you just type in, uh, you do spring init dash dash list to show you kind of initializing 
a Spring Boot project, kind of the information that's good to know. But anyway, I got um, a good command here to start up our first, to start up a Spring Boot project. And I have the, these dependencies. You do the dash D equals web. We're going to have the security and we're going to have data dash GPA. Our group name is com dot. And we'll have a new name here. We'll do com dot logic. And from there, copy and paste this. We'll copy and paste this. And this dot dash X here, what this does is it automatically unzips this. So if I didn't do the X here, it's going to give us um it's going to throw a, a zip folder into this directory here. Into this directory, it's just going to put a zip folder. But this is just going to just force it. It's just going to unzip it for us. Uh, yeah, we'll copy. Yeah, we'll copy this. Copy. Um, spring, yeah. I'm kind of fumbling around right now. We'll paste that in. Okay, it didn't automatically run it. But that's good. Gives us time to think. Okay, so we're going to initialize this thing. I'm going to build it. There you go. Project extracted to this folder. And then I'm pretty sure this, hopefully this command works. Let's do idea dot so we can just uh, open this up in IntelliJ. Yeah, it's not going to do it. We'll go to our PowerShell. Okay, YouTube CLI demo, right? Just making sure. CLI demo, okay. We're going to change into that folder. And then here we're going to do idea dot. And IntelliJ should open this up. Here we go. We'll trust it. There it goes. It's thinking, but it's building it up. Look at that. It's got its our Maven there. Project looks good so far. See, just quickly, I'll show you in the terminal here. You should have git bash here. Git bash. So you can do git bash in here too. I think it's done building. There's your palm.xml. There you go, your group ID, all this stuff. Got our dependencies down here, security, web, JPA. You can add all kinds of stuff to it. And we'll go to our source main. There's your main method. I could run it if I want to. But yeah, that it built it really nicely. If you get better at it, if you're quicker at it, it should become easier. Um, now if I did like a new project here, Now a lot of times some a lot of people will have the spring initializer here in the generators, especially if you have the paid version of IntelliJ. Uh, but you know I've just showed you some command line tools, and there's more stuff out there if you look into it about how to use uh, this Git Bash terminal to kind of build some other stuff, build out some other things. Um, but yeah, I like a good. Um, a good command is this. I really like this command called uh, spring init dash list. It tells you a lot of information about how to use uh, the Spring Boot CLI. Yeah, let's say just to recap, let's say I wanted to use the terminal in here to create the, um, the Spring Boot project. So first I'll have to, uh, let's, say, let's just say uh, create um, 
You could create a new uh, directory. Yeah, let's just use the git bash. Let's show the git bash here. We'll see the uh, make dir. We'll call it uh, YouTube test IntelliJ terminal. And then we'll CD into that. No, that's not working. YouTube CD into that. Okay. And I'll show you again how to uh, how to boot this stuff up here. We'll copy and paste. We'll rename this one. Uh, yeah, YouTube test CLI terminal. And instead of uh, instead of data JPA, let's try to use like Mongo. Let's add uh, Lombok. And let's make sure those are the correct names for those. Let's scroll up here. It's called Lombok, right? I spell it right and all that stuff. J K L Lombok. Okay. Lombok. Did I spell that right? Lombok. I might have spelled that wrong. MongoDB. Let's check that. Is that what it's called? MongoDB. Mongo, hmm, maybe it's called db dot mongo. Data dash mongo db. Okay, let's try that. Data dash mongo db. We'll have data dash mongo db. Lombok. All right, so we'll copy and paste this into our terminal. And there you go. I think this all looks good. YouTube, Test IntelliJ, CLI terminal. All right, let's run it. Let's go. So it built it. Okay, and then we'll do idea dot. Ah, uh, you can't run. You can't do it in Bash. So we'll do it in our local here. All right, and now we'll do idea dot. Trust it. This window. There you go. Basically, just built. So I showed you how to just build um, from the command line with in IntelliJ to build a, a Spring Boot project. So there you go. That's how you do it. So yeah, maybe get comfortable with that. You don't have to do it. I mean, it's easy to use this website. Just generate, unzip, all that stuff. But there's different ways to do things. There's more than one way to skin a cat, right? So yeah, I'll put, I'll put on GitHub uh, some these inf information, all this stuff, all these steps on how to do this stuff. So yeah, happy coding.